I'm a brand new creature cause the owe me the die. I'm new. Yeah, I'm new. Hey you guys and welcome back to another reactional video. Uh this one is funny. Okay, this 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 one is funny. Funny reactional video and I'm excited. I actually got this um sent to me on TikTok. Um and we're gonna talk about it, okay? Like the hit? Here you go. Okay. I will hide your word in my heart. For those who looking at me funny, I can hear will hide your word in my heart. All right, so before we go any further, I wanted to uh, actually read what uh, the caption says. Okay, so this went left real quick. This pastor, a real ninja, watched till the end. But underneath it says, worship leader calls congregation broke, but pastor instantly corrects. It's not instantly though, okay? I did see it, it's not instantly, okay? However, on the contrary, um, yeah, this, let's continue for those that come here to spectate i will hide your word in my heart no matter how tired you may be you still have to find his word in your heart it's not here to see the next person who can sing i'm gonna hide your word in my heart you're looking at me funny but yet you sit there bro i will hide your word in my heart <laughs> Yo, so he did call the congregation bro. Yikes. Um, yeah. See, this is the reason why, no shade, no tea. This is the reason why you have to vet the people in position. Your, your worship leaders, people in your congregation, like, I mean, not congregation, but people in like the ministry uh, departments. Cause like I said, on a personal tip, child i was saved sanctified and filled with the holy ghost while i was fornicating baby yes i would go to church the three times that i needed to be there from i guess 5 a.m to let's say about two then i would leave there go to big t y'all know what i'm talking about in dallas whoop whoop find me something real snatched and tight and short to wear to the club that night go to the club that night and i am in there like swim word you know you know my my dude whoop -de -whoop, and we go whoop -de -whoop, okay and then monday i was there at monday school okay then wednesday it was just a rep repetitive nature okay in my sin it was fun all right and had fun in my sin right we all do it's fun right and then you it comes to realization child so um yeah this is a example as to why everybody can't just be in leadership nor can everybody be in ministry i know what god has for my life and i'm a winner i will hide the word in my heart just like pastor tate did you miss he's preached earlier god's going to raise us up in front of those who looked at me down so as you are looking, you're going to see me go up, up, up. As you sit there looking, you're going to see us go up, up, up. And I'm going to laugh at the devil. And I'm going to win over the devil. A few moments later. I want to say something right quick. Can we clap our hands for our youth pastor, Anton Brown? Let me say this. Let me say this. I, um, I, I love everybody, but I want to do this. I want to say to the whole church and to the ones that are outside, y'all are not broke. I apologize for that. Oh my gosh. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. But it's funny because he's like, I apologize. And you know what? Most pastors wouldn't do this, child. Not, not on, not on. Not in public like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can appreciate that. I can absolutely appreciate the pastor coming on and saying, I apologize. Hmm. Statement that was made saying that the church was broke and ugly and ratchet, whatever else was said. That is not how we roll. We're not going to call the people of God broke. Amen. 
And so I, as for the pastor that was my member, and I'm going to talk to him, and it was done on live, and so I have to apologize while the live is going. We do not operate like that. You guys are not broke. We can't call you broke and then actually sow a $20 seed. At least we are being honest and transparent. Give it up for the church. I love that. Yes. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. He seemed like also the pastor, if he did wrong, he'll come up and be like, I, I messed up, you know, and be very honest. This is what we need. Like he said, we can't call you broke and sit up here and be asking. You know what I'm saying? And of course he's going to clean it up because like he said, he need them to... So a twenty dollars seed. Say amen. And so I want to apologize to everybody. If anybody was offended, anybody got upset. I seen some of your faces like y'all want to say, "Nigga, please." That's oh my! The child, look. I saw somebody in the comments of another video say the black church is dead. I don't think the black church is dead. I think many churches are being held accountable, Chad. I think many churches are being held accountable. We can't sit up there and just put just that church out there. No, they're all being held accountable across the board, period. The church is being judged right now, right? The word of God says it's going to start at the house of the Lord and to be quite frank and honest with you um the enemy is going to mess with you wherever you're at the most okay if you are intertwined within your marriage and your spouse that's where he's going to attack the most if you are um a wonderful parent and you're so engulfed with your children and what they have to do he's going to attack there if you are at work the most he's going to attack there if you're in your ministry and you're at church the most, he's going to attack there. That's the reason why you should not be so religious to where you are so connected to a building, okay? Now, the word of God says, do not forsake the assembly of oneself. Jesus, okay, created the church, okay? We're not going to play like that. And no, it ain't in you, okay? The Holy Spirit resides in you, but you need to take that Holy Spirit to, to go to corral, okay? You need to be able to take that Holy Spirit to get fed, okay? And that's in the house of the Lord, okay? But that's another message in itself, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments down below in regards to this reactional video. Now, this, like I said, was going to be funny, child. I just was like, oh my gosh, can you imagine being at the service or even watching it live because he said that this was a live stream i'm just like really it was where because i want to look it up child let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next reaction of video Chad. hey what's up whitney d here now if you like that video make sure that you leave a comment you like the video and you share it sharing is caring okay and i will see you guys on the next video but until then make sure you connect with me on all my social medias until next time god bless everybody's scared when they in the booth but i'll take on the persecution for the truth